liqueur. Yeah. It's a vanilla liqueur. Nice. In here, you have a hidden bartender who is mixing the drinks already. Yeah. Look at that. Look at the magic. Gary's still in our bonnet. She forget. But we honestly forget to take it off, so we just have, we just have vibe, you see me? We yeah. just have vibe. <laughs> Alright, what do you want to see from the cruise content? The food. The food. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, food it is. Food Keen, what do you want to see from the cruise content? The food, the excursions, um, take a walk to the casino. To the That's casino, alright. If we can record in the yeah. casino. Yeah, and you know? We're gonna do that. Yeah, some sunset views. Some sunset views. Some sunset views. I got you. <laughs> no, he's a natural. You know, you're the man say he's a natural. Like, what you want? What we want here? Yes, they know growing up in Kingston 5. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to the wonder of the sea. This cruise ship is owned by the Royal Caribbean Cruise Limited and it is an impressive vessel. It was once the biggest ship in the world, now dethroned by Icon of the Sea, also a Royal Caribbean ship. And if you look at this model, it shows you every single thing that there is on the ship, including a helicopter pad, a solarium with a 360 view of the ship, pools, Eight rooms and one of the biggest water slides that there is at sea at any given time and this ship 
carries an impressive 9,188 passengers, has 20 floors, and can get up to 22.5 nautical speed. That's pretty impressive. Like the overall length of the ship is 362,150 meters about and you know the middle parts are for people staying in the ship and overall it's just an impressive beauty and no wonder they call it the wonder of the sea Jeez. <laughs> Uh, we have no idea what we're about to do now. Truthfully, we should have been at dinner, but we're not hungry because we walked around the ship and checked out a few restaurants. But we're gonna probably go change our pants and check out what there is to dinner. Uh, or maybe check out a few activities. They have ice skating, so we're really interested in that. But stick around to find out where will we go aboard the Wonders. There's an escape room. If it's open or if they have space because you reserve your activities in the app so if you want to do activities then you reserve them in your app and sign up and if there you don't have enough people like our party is a party of two if you don't have enough people then they pair you with other people but if you do then yeah so i did reserve a few activities but none for day one since we were sure like what we'd be doing see here's and here's upcoming events for tonight and they just kind of shuffle to show you what's going on. So I guess we're gonna check out if the escape room is open. Let's go. <laughs> okay guys, so we found the adventure ocean and I don't know, I feel like the decor should have told us that it's for kids, but it's for kids like what it is one, two, eleven, and they have different size. We didn't bother finding out what type of activities they have for them all we know is that it's for kids once they told us that we skedaddle because guess who don't got kids but they have activity for your kids we're now on deck 12 right and we are looking for wonderland we're not exactly sure what wonderland is right we had found the royal escape room and it turns out that it's also for kids so we're just gonna write off level 14 as for kids and since and we're not why is kids there no level 13? oh there's no level 13 because it's a bad luck number so they don't put it on ships since historically every ship with the number 13 has met unfortunate demise and you know big up them for skipping 13 because <laughs> your girl can swim but she can't ocean swim so yeah we're looking for wonderland and then we're gonna find out what Wonderland is and then we're gonna go down to the music hall and I promise we're gonna show food we're gonna eat don't 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 pay attention to my wine right <laughs> they we paid a lot for these drinks so Wonderland so guys drink everything that we can drink. every single thing so they said it's in the adrift side and we're currently facing forward so we're going to the back of the ship so let's go Okay guys, we found Wonderland and it turns out it's a little bar, but the decoration to get into Wonderland is pretty amazing. Hold on, you can pass. Yay! <laughs> We're letting people pass because that's a polite thing to do. Yeah, but it's pretty amazing like, and it has like a little archway. Someone is taking pictures. So when they're finished, we'd go so you guys can see it and then go inside. Okay.
right, my people, this is what we're having. Yeah, guys, so what you're seeing here is the cocktail menu at this at this specific bar. It's actually really nice. It's like fine dining, I'd say, but tonight is casual night, so apparently we're okay. Um, we were feeling a little anxious because like, oh, this place looks so nice. So we're about to try this drink that says the White Rabbit Burrito. And mm -hmm. let's see if we like it. It says Patron. Oh my God, Patron. Anyways. Oh, it's blue. It's blue. That's pretty lit. All right, so try it and give us and let's, your... And let's see what we think. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 10 out of 10 would definitely make you drunk because it's not... It's not giving, it's not giving alcohol. It's giving that this is just nice. I'd recommend guys just take your time with this specific cocktail, okay? So if you want really nice things, come down to Wonderland when you come to check out this ship. A little extra, you know? The salt foam on the top, it gives the drink a little extra. <laughs> Welcome to Wonderland. <laughs> And see how in other people in place. They said tonight is casual night. I have on a t shirt. That's not bad. Oh, casual, casual can I, can I, can I, you don't know them call these wife beaters. I don't know why. They but call it's, for white me, it's a, ones, wife me it's a, it's a marina, right? It's a vest. But they oh, call casual it can you be to be in a marina? You want to put on a t shirt when you reach downstairs? We're going no? down. I'm staying on my marina. You want better dinner? You don't want food? You hungry? I'm drinking. You know how much money them charge me today? <laughs> guys. That's why we're drinking. Yeah, so we need food to soak up the alcohol, guys. Right? Like, we're just going to try it and see what, you know? Just kind of to, like, see what's going on. So, guys, I, I think I'm looking for um, musical. We're looking for a music hall and also checking out where we get dinner because I insist that I want dinner as much as he doesn't want dinner. And um, it's casual night, so apparently I can wear my short shorts. But um, the point is, the point is, we're looking for the music hall wherever that is. So hopefully we find it. Here we go, Latin rhythm at 9.15. So where are we right now? So we found the music hall, guys, right? We found the music hall. It has the coolest sign right here. Um, they have different music playing at different times, but we had actually scheduled for an activity right now. So we're gonna go down to deck five and do our activity and then come back at about 9.15 when the Caribbean band is playing for the simple fact that it's a Caribbean band. Right, we might go to the little Latin band as well because they got vibes, but point is we found the music hall, so let's go check out our activity. And apparently they have the auction for the used roller. Just like that, yeah? I have no idea what it is giving me. You wanna try something? Yes. Okay. Alright, so what we're gonna try is we're gonna try Sheridan uh -huh. for the camera. Yeah. <laughs> We got chocolate liqueur, yeah. we got vanilla liqueur. Nice. In here, you have a hidden bartender who is mixing the drinks already. Yeah. Look at that. Look at the magic. Okay. Okay, you swirl it. And you get a nice drink. And you sweep it. Okay. No, 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 no. It was on ice already. Very cool. Oh, this is really nice though. It is, it is. This is really nice. It's on liquor. Yeah. And that one is smoother. Try that one. You feel some strong. And this is very coffee like. Yeah. Which one is this? That one that you just tried is a marula, baby. Love. Ooh, I've had this before, but only at a bar. Sorry? I've had this one before, but only at a bar, and usually places don't have it. So now it's really rare in America. So yeah. Hard to find. Only on the ship that you can get those bottles. I'm present. If you want to get something wine from Africa, please. Yeah. Okay. I will be proud that you're going to bring it home in You're from Africa? Yeah. Oh my god, I love it. Let me see. Yeah. I would love to, I would love hey, to visit. There we go. He's not drinking? He's, he's flaming. We're flaming for our YouTube. 
You want to try it? Try it, try it, try it. It's really nice. Guys, if you could see his face, he's so very, yeah. 10 out of 10, right? Sorry, I just want a picture. It looks really. Yes, it does. So it takes about six to four months to dry up. The art that uses is a palette knife. The color that he's, like the color is so really nice. Sorry, we're recording for our YouTube channel. Yeah, we have a travel channel, so we're recording for it. Oh, nice. It gets the imaging so well, but we like to like get pictures. So we just went into, we just entered an art draw where you have to guess the price of this painting that you see right here, right? And the ancestors told me a number and they've never let me wrong. So I feel like I'm gonna win the painting. So guys, check back tomorrow and if I won the painting, but yeah like check back tomorrow to see if i won the draw but it was really nice and we're just kind of walking around and seeing what there is to do but we're gonna win this raffle don't worry about it <laughs> welcome to central park it's a miniature version of Central Park in New York City. Guys, that's so cool to have a Central Park, like an actual park on a ship. Like whoever designed this specific ship, they did their thing, you know? But let's just walk around and see what it is. It's gorgeous. Why don't we look for Effie so we could get our free bracelet? Oh, the food smells so good. Giovanni's. I haven't found the spot yet. Hi. Hi. Effie's a that side. That side? Yeah, it's paid for that side. Okay. okay. But is it inside here? Yeah, this, this, this area. Okay, got it. People, we found Effie, but the line is it's crazy. crazy. Apparently, we went past it the first time it was empty because we catch the Central Park line, but we didn't notice the sign over there. So now, just gotta wait. Now, we just gotta wait in line. We're good, we'll be good, we're gonna be good. <laughs> it's about minutes to nine but we made it to dinner because they're still serving dinner and we did still like my time dinner so we don't have like a reserved seating we just go to dinner at any time that we're ready between five and about 9 30. so we just order our food and we're just gonna we're basically just gonna wait until it gets here and then we'll show you guys what the food is about Here we have baked escargot and I only got it because I've never really I've never had escargot but I wanted to try it. So watch this right here. This is escargot. And what I is escargot. It's basically snails and I got it because so yeah, it's snail and bread. Yeah. Okay. I just wanted to try it because I've never had it. 
What's, what's this right here? This is spinach dip spinach. and yeah and dip, chips. Dip, let me see. I love me a good spinach dip and I just figured that their spinach dip would be good. Right, this is just some bread that they gave us on the table and that over there, yeah, look at the bread. We have different types of bread actually. Yeah, eat the spinach dip and the people them say. <laughs> okay, and for me, what did you recommend for me? And over there, yeah, we have crab cakes. And it's actually not my recommendation, it is the chef's, it is the captain's recommendation. So every night on the menu, the captain recommends something, and tonight he recommended the fish cakes. Yeah. You do, you do? Yes. <laughs> so that's what we're filming for, for our channel. So that way we could, because we're doing a review of the ship. Ah, okay. Yeah. So. He looks like he's really enjoying it and he didn't even want it. <laughs> what are you having? Huh? What are you having? I'm having southern fried chicken, mashed potato and corn. The chicken is actually really good too. It's really hot. Like really, really hot. So excuse me a little bit. Thank you. <laughs> Big up all these people for telling me that they love my hair. You know, it's always nice when everybody else loves it too. Um, ribs. A rib steak, actually, right? Medium well, and vegetables. I never like it that much. I mean, you ate. A, he ate a lot for somebody who said he never liked it that much, but <laughs> we just agree that he never liked it that much. People, look at how nice this cheesecake is. I'm from Jump. He's like. Oh, don't, don't look at my cheesecake, yeah, like, sir. My cheesecake. If I really want cheesecake, I'll ask for cheesecake, but I read, I got key lime pie, and I love key lime pie, so I'm gonna be okay, like, stop bugging. Ray, I have the mic, and he has the camera. <laughs> yeah, you got it? I got a piece of chocolate, so... I'm lit. I don't need your cheesecake. Thank God. This food looks like it both to pack you up. Now why would you put that on cheesecake? The whipped cream? That's disrespectful. Father God, I yeah, you know how long I look for a cheesecake. That bangs? We match up to the cheesecake when we get from my birthday almost two years ago. <laughs> and it took me going out and open sea water. Yeah. I feel I'm tying my mouth. You have to wait till I swallow. Oh yeah. It's nice for you. Like really nice. Happy find back a nice one. And if I add a tomorrow and this night I'm go back.
That's if it's on the mini tomorrow. Because the mini changes every day. She's getting into the pan every day. Three hours later. <laughs> The next day and just like that we're at the end of day one don't watch my face I just got up I'm trying to be real with this video right um, things to know about cruise so what are cruise lessons 101 uh, David some things that I learned on day one right first thing your internet package get the internet package be a plan most of the trip you know, so getting here, it's all new to me. I'm thinking it's like an all-inclusive hotel. So when I get here, it's just plug and play. Everything is a go. Nope. Your internet, you have to pay for that. Your alcohol, you have to pay for that. A lot of stuff, you have to pay for that. Right? I would say, yo, just take care of everything in advance. In advance. Make sure... Make sure you have them have a thing that's called, you know, my time dinner or breakfast or whatever. That basically means you don't have to set, you don't have to set, you don't have to make a reservation for, for eat, you know, because most people have to make a reserva reservation for eat. Well, I'm going to just wake up some. Yeah. So you don't have to set a reservation to eat. They can just go. But with that, you might go and everybody else decide to go at the same time, especially with these huge cruise ships. Right? What else? Um, it is a heavy, 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 heavy family space. Right? So make sure you're mentally prepared for say, yo, it's gonna be a lot of kids. Alright, it's gonna be a lot of families. You know, you're gonna be seeing moms with, you know, walkie talkies and you know, yeah, so just, just prepare for that. Even in the spaces where say adults only, like there's this little pool area that, you know, they say it should be adult only. I've seen kids there. People are bringing them kids there. So, you know, just, just mentally prepare for that. In the nights, it's like, it's like that. Of course, all the kids are sleeping, but in the daytime, just, just, you know, yeah. I learned that everything is on time. Every single thing. If they say that um, a show, a movie is being, you know, shown at eight, but you need to get there at seven forty-five. If you get there at eight, that's it. You won't be able to get in because again, it is a big ship and i'm realizing that these spaces can't accommodate everyone right you have i want to say thousands of people on these ships 
but these spaces can the spaces that shows the movies and the dinner halls and stuff like that can only accommodate a couple hundred at a time so chances are not not even chances are if you get there at eight after they told you to be there at 7 45 it's done it's around you have to wait until the next showing at probably nine or ten or no not not sure at ten at ten is adult party time and all of them stuff there right um so you have to probably wait until the next day right and a lot of the activities are geared towards families so you know um if you're going on a cruise single or you just going as a couple i would i would recommend bringing some friends you know because like i said it's 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 family heavy um most of the activities are gonna be geared toward towards um families i do plan to go uber soca cruise later this year i'm gonna see i, I want to see what that's like compared to this cruise you know but um once you have your alcohol once you have your internet package you know you eat anytime thing you know once you set up your, your thing all right you know once you have you know money in your pocket i would recommend um going on cruise even after getting the alcohol um the internet and the the eat anytime and whatever else little add-ons you can add on i would still recommend going on cruise with at least um with at least three thousand us dollars yep 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 because even in the app they have an app right and even the app the app the app shows you activities why why are sales activities in the app they're like from 78 blowout sale on toothpaste it's not toothpaste in myself but you get me i said that's an activity in the app for you to go and participate in and i'm like you know when you when you make your different stops in mexico or you know coco Key, you know a lot of stuff's been sold on the islands so you know i also prepare for that you know the zip lines um you know the zip what what else um zip lines the the air hot air, air balloons you know a lot of stuff you have to you have to pay for you know it's not all yeah but you, again you can you can you can get all this before you go in um before you start your cruise so you can definitely um plan and have that so it is an amazing cruise even though i'm i'm doing all this as i go along it is an amazing cruise i'm having i'm having a great time right so this information is just a lot of things surprised me right and i was like you know what let's just whoop to whoop to whoop. you know what i mean let's just take care of it because i need this I'm going to be on the seas seven, eight days and not drink a glass of wine or, you know. So, you have the information. I ho Hopefully, you watch it all the way here. So, if when you're planning your cruise, you can say, oh, remember, Brush One said, you know, make sure we get this and make sure we get that and make sure we have this and make sure we have that, right? And make sure we are also mentally prepared for whatever. But in terms of the ship, you don't feel the ship move. The ship is moving right now and it almost feels like the water is we're standing still and the water is just washing this way you know because this is the front of the ship that's the back of the ship i'm up the very very front of the ship i jiggle my hand i jiggle oh no 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 <laughs> but um that's some stuff i learned um day one cruising Big up yourself, nice. I'm up.